Hey everybody, John here from Catbird Hill. Well, welcome back to Catbird Hill. Actually, welcome back to the RV uh, that you saw us talk about in the last video. So I'm inside the RV. I was actually working outside for a little bit and uh, just wanted to come in here and warm up. Uh, it's a pretty chilly day here in southeastern Pennsylvania. I woke up this morning, it was about 26 degrees. Uh, we're going to be greeted here by Bandit, who was one of our three cats, and I'm convinced that uh, my wife and I really didn't get this RV for us. I think we got it for these three cats. Uh, as I mentioned in the previous video, hey buddy, uh, we are having a huge renovation done inside of our home. Uh, our historic house, we're having central air conditioning put in. And we will, uh, I've actually talked to the contractor who's doing that, and he really would like me to do a video of some of the installation because it's such a unique process. Uh, it's an opportunity to get some education out there to people on a very different type of air conditioning system that's uh, very applicable to our type of house. So probably this week before Thanksgiving, I want to try to shoot a video with him and a couple of his mechanics doing some installation work. But they're, they're one week into it. We've been in the RV for a week and the guys are one week into the work and it's really going along very, very well. I'm very happy it's on schedule. So our hope is that uh, we might be back in the house the week after Thanksgiving. We have another job starting uh, the Monday after Thanksgiving. That's going to be the renovation of a bathroom on the second floor. So we'll probably stay in the RV until at least the demolition work is done on that. And then we can move everybody back in. But uh, as I mentioned in the previous video, uh, I, uh, my wife and I have never done RVing before, and you know, obviously we're not at an RV park. We're in our uh, in our field here behind our house, and uh, I'll, I'll give you some views out of the window. But I got to tell you, um, I kind of like it. It's um, you know, I know there's this big movement now about small living, or you know, uh, the tiny houses and how small the house you know can you live, uh, what you know how small the house can be that you can still comfortably live in it. I'll give you a little video tour around here, but um, I'm, I'm really impressed. I mean, it is amazing to me the amount of stuff uh, and creature comforts that they can cram into a small space. And honestly, there are some things that uh, I'm taking away from you know being out here for only a week that I really would like to have in our house. I mean, one of the things that's just um, we're not used to because our house is sold, it's from the 1700s, is we don't have a lot of electrical outlets uh, in the house. You know, we uh, we've added some over the years, but you know, the house didn't was built when there was no electricity. So, you know, electricity was added later, and it was very very sparsely added. My goodness, every three feet I've got an electrical outlet. I've got USB ports all over the place. I've got a satellite uh, hookup. I've got cable hookup. I've got an onboard CD player, AM FM radio. Um, it's great, you know, everything's, everything's been really, really kind of cool. Uh, it's been a fun experience. The sleeping uh, is a little, little challenging. Uh, I'm six foot two. Uh, we got a queen size bed. I basically fill up the bedroom from the, the end wall to the head wall. I mean, I have no room to move, so that's taken a little getting used to. But other than that, it's really nice. It's, a, it's been a great place to work. Beth had uh, to work from home one day this week, and I, and I work from home a, a, a few hours each day. Um, if I, you know, when I when I go into the office, I'm usually not in an office all day long, or I'm going between offices. So I try to get a few hours of work done each day. And I tell you, this is this is like working in your backyard. It's really really nice. But let's do a little tour around here. I think you'll get an idea how this uh, RV is actually more for the cats than anything. So there, you can kind of see. That's our view, you know, that's our, our back, the back of our field. Um, just a really nice place to, to sit and work. And there's Mr. Bandit. You know, th these guys have been in seventh heaven because they've got all these windows and we have tons of deer that, that you know, roam around back here and they've been going nuts. So a uh, little bathroom, you know, right here. It's got a little shower. It's nice. Uh, that is... Our oldest cat, that's Mr. Olive, or we call him Ollie. We actually thought he was a girl when we adopted him years ago, and 
you know, we took him to the vet and vet picked him up and poked it and prodded him and said, nah, neutered male. So he, he went from, uh, from Olive uh, to Mr. Olive and now short Ollie. So he is 20 years old. He's the senior guy. But basically, we just took the cushions, the mattresses out of these bunk bed areas and made it like a sleeping area for them. Uh, got a nice little storage closet right here. Fridge, propane, gas range, oven, nice kitchen island actually i mean sometimes i feel like i've got more space in this kitchen than we have in ours um there's our entertainment center nice little flat screen tv there's all the electronics i was talking about control panel that tells us what's going on in the rv at any given time you know the amount of water we have and, and that sort of thing um, our bedroom is tucked back here it's kind of nice um, there's our uh, bed that I just fit into like into a shoe box but it's good it's fine it's very comfortable and uh sofa here you know where you can hang out this actually does fold out into a bed we've got some obviously again you know those blankets aren't for us those are for the kitties um the main one of the main reasons we did get the RV for these guys uh I mean my gosh you know how could how could you not just love that little guy there um you know we you know, we've learned over the years that for big projects, they just don't tolerate a lot of noise and banging. And, you know, we've got every door and window pretty much opened up in the house. And there's just too many chances that they're going to get out. They're, in, they're indoor cats. We just don't keep cats outside here. There's too many predators. So uh, we decided that, honestly, it was cheaper. Even if we weren't staying in the RV, it was cheaper to rent this RV than it would be to board these guys for a month. And plus, you know, we can still hang around them and, you know, have fun with them and everything. So anyhow, Bandit, did you want to say anything? How's the experience been so far, huh? You're a good, bu you're a good buddy. You're a good buddy. You're my lap buddy. So... You know, we've got, like I said, probably about another, oh, maybe week to week and a half in the RV. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's worked out really well. It's been very convenient. As I mentioned in the previous video, you know, when you're doing a project to the scale that we're doing, and you'll see it, you know, in the next video we shoot, hopefully um, we'll, get, uh, we'll get the guys to show some of the work they're doing. Uh, there are there are always questions. You know, every day there are questions about you know, what do you think? You know, are you okay with us doing this? Do you want us to, you know, to do it this way? Have you thought about? So you know, me being here, at least us being accessible, either me or my wife, uh, the contractors have access to us. It's it's easy, rather than you know playing phone tag and oh I, you know I'm not home. I got to wait till I get home to look at what you're talking about. We can make the decisions in the moment, and it's really made the project, I think, go a lot smoother for both us and, and for our contractors. So thanks for watching. This was kind of a, a, a different video, um, but I wanted everybody to see how nice this RV is. And if you've never, if you've never done an RV before, um, you know, take a look at it. I mean, it's actually a pretty cool thing. You know, I think um, we're definitely going to do this again. We have other big projects that are going to require we be out of the house. Uh, at least two more major projects probably within the next five years where we're going to have to be out of the house. At least that's our plan. And we're definitely going to rent another one. This is just, this has been great. We might do it in warmer weather though. Um, that's the only thing that's a little, and I guess it's just typical for the way these things are built, but the heat works great. I mean, the, the, it gets really comfy, but the heat's very uneven, you know, it, it, it heats up and then it gets cold, it gets cooler and then it heats up again. So it's not a real even heat, but honestly, if that's the worst thing, that's not a bad thing at all. So anyhow, this is John and Bandit from Catbird Hill, uh, thanking everybody for watching. Please continue to uh, uh, share our videos, give us thumbs up. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't done so. And until next time, take care. Say goodbye, Bandit. Say goodbye, buddy. You good boy. All right.